Hi everybody, it's Kathy here. I'm a transformation coach and channel and I'm a spiritual teacher and I work with people to help them clear their abundance blocks and really step into their spiritual power so they can uh, create more of what they want in their lives. So welcome to this lunchtime live stream. It's great to have you here. Um, or And it's great if you are catching the replay, please make any comments that you like please uh, if you've got any questions do pop them in the box i wanted to explore what is going on when you're following all all the things that the teachers tell you about manifesting you're um kind of doing the visualizations maybe you've been doing the vision boards you're doing the practice you're stepping into that future version of you you're feeling it sensing it seeing it hearing it all of that great stuff that really does work it really it, this is what we need to do we need to focus on stepping into that and accessing that possibility which already exists for us but equally if we are doing that regularly and still things don't seem to be changing very quickly or you still seem to be banging your head against the glass ceiling What's going on with that, you know? Um, and I've explored this a lot because this, it, I've struggled often with, or got frustrated probably is the right word, with um, seeing my clients make see such massive shifts and really transcend where they were blocked by doing the work that I do on myself. And yeah, they seemed, at many times, not every time, obviously I've had some significant breakthroughs uh, in all kinds of different areas, but um, sometimes those, there's some real sticky places and it's like, why is this not shifting? I'm doing all the work and it's frustrating. So this is what I wanted to kind of talk about a bit today because since I had a bit more of a it was like a big wake up in uh, in the last couple of months or was around about November last year. A wake up or a shake up, one of those kind of things. It was something that really, it really went straight to my heart and um, I realised that I wasn't living as I really wanted to be. If I, if I was being honest, I'd been making do, I'd been fitting in, I'd been playing it much safer and much smaller and I hadn't realized because I had all these amazing tools so whenever um, a challenge would come up I would just use the tools that I have and I would be able to transcend whatever um, uncomfortable feeling or emotion or whatever was going on for me I'd be able to change it and I would end up finding a sense of peace and contentment and tranquility usually within a really short time but what this actually meant uh was happening for me was that because i was just happy and content i wasn't making i wasn't asking for very much i was kind of fitting in with what life brought me i wasn't in my power i wasn't using my power to make the shape of my life that i wanted and and then and really sort of like sending out to the universe this command of what it was that i wanted to experience hi joanna um so consequently i lived within what was offered and there is definitely some obviously this is there's huge benefits in just being able to accept anything that life brings you um but if you were i want i just i realized that i wanted more than that that and that i'd just been fitting in and i it was like um a realization i suppose that i had always done things on my own um because i had all my tools because i had all my i knew how to meditate i knew how to find peace and calm hi wendy um and because you know i I was willing to kind of like really get uncomfortable, but I wasn't willing to ask for what I wanted. So I wasn't, I wasn't really good at receiving. I would just be good at surrendering. Um, and don't get me wrong, being surrendered is a fantastic skill, but it's using it in the right place. So I'd have been doing all of these 
vision boards. I've been doing all my the tools to kind of like get clear about what I wanted. Um, I would be kind of doing the the work. I would be doing. I would be looking at all the triggers that came up for me, and kind of wanting to. Um, you know, I was really proactive with with everything that came up, um, and still things were not particularly changing that much in the areas that I really wanted that that change in. Um, so it was like when this this big sort of shake up came, it was all about realizing I'm not supported. I'm really not supported in the way that I wanted to be supported. I was doing pretty much everything on my own. Um, or I was asking for very little amounts of support just to get by, just because I'd always learned how to get by. And uh, I think it was like, no, no more. I want more than that. I want, I want to have more people who really care about me and what I'm about. And uh, and in order to do that, I needed to do that for myself. And so I put this big kind of message out to the universe, like a command. I want support. I want to feel supported in in every area of my life. And because I put that such a like a really strong uh, intent out, I had so much support coming back. I have so much support. I have never felt so loved and supported. And the upshot of that is I'm experiencing life in a new way and I never had noticed this before I never knew I never had the awareness of what it is to be supported because the thing is when and this is why I see my clients make such big shifts so you know I got I got the aha moments because I'm now experiencing it myself in a big way is that when some when you feel fully supported and you feel safe and you feel seen and heard you're much more willing to let the old stuff, the old patterns, the bits that you've pushed down that, you know, when you were young, perhaps like me, um, you were sensitive, you probably didn't fit in and really wanted to, um, and maybe you were bullied at school or, you know, any of these things where you took on the shit from other kids and you, or from other people in your life and you or your family and you believed it about yourself and all the nasty things that they said or that they made you feel you just you just believed it and thought oh god that part of me is just awful I don't want it and you it's like you send it off into some dark place close the door on it and you don't want to see it again because you just think that it's wrong, bad, unworthy, unlovable, um, and and unwelcome. And so when we when we throw all of those parts of us away and we close the door on them, that part of us then is missing, essentially. So there's much less of us available to receive the abundance that we're looking for, that we're desiring. So the thing that about like working with clients in um, a one-to-one level or how I've experienced it recently is that there's that sense of safety allows these older parts to come to the surface. And it does it when I'm, so the process that I would take a client through, for example, hi Claire, is I would get them really clear about what their vision is. So I would take them, connect them to their hearts, out through to uh, and through your heart is your connection to your soul self, to your infinite self. And when you can connect at that level, it's it's where you connect with your true vision, your the dreams that are aligned with your soul that are going to help you grow into who you're here to be, which will be the thing that is the most fulfilling, the most uh, satisfying, joy filled, and fun and abundant uh, vision for your life. And it's that, and this possibility already exists. So when you connect there, your heart's wide open and you feel the truth of it. So when you connect there, that's not where you're at now. Your, your self concept, who you believe you are now is you with all of the patterns and stuff from the past. You're still carrying all of these uh, parts of you that you'd kind of separated off. 
uh, or the the patterns that that um, you know that that brings up all the head talk that you're not good enough, that you can't do it, you're not worthy, you don't have what it takes. Um, who am I to have this? All of those sort of things. So it creates this tension within us. There's the the vision over here of what you know is possible because you can feel it in your heart, and there's the the other side going no i can't have that that's not who i am so there's this pull and it's really important to have this pull this is where we feel really uncomfortable and that's why it's important it's like when you can meet that edge and be with that edge that's where you'll meet all of those bits of you that you had cut off that you had separated yourself off from and they exist you don't even need to go into the story of them to to reclaim them they exist as an energetic charge uh, you know you'll feel the the sadness or the um the pain or maybe it's guilt or shame or whatever these things are and you'll feel them in your body because your body is this amazing tool that you have to um that, that will sort of tell you where you're out of alignment. It will show you all of the old stuff that exists within your field so that you can then release it. But um, this self-concept, it's actually really easy to clear. Normally we push these feelings away because we don't like them, we don't want them. We're actually quite scared of feeling that shame, that opening the, the, the lid to, who we believe we are we've been so good at covering it up for so long and so it's the fear of having that exposed that causes us to make take these um uh, other choices make different decisions about things that keep us small because it just keeps the lid on um which is why things don't change which is why things don't change in our lives and so when you can get to this edge of, of who you are and you can hold the energy of the shame and really feel it, feel it in your body and not push it away. When you actually bring it there, so you're feeling it and you're seeing it and you're sensing it and um, you're loving it, you're welcoming it and you're seeing it as, as part of you and you're taking it back. It's like when you can do that, you're actually expanding your sense of self, you're expanding your self-concept. When you actually see it like that in the light, the light of your consciousness, it's like something transmutes within you. And the charge that it used to hold dissolves, it becomes neutral. So you start gradually to expand your sense of self out the more that you can accept of yourself, of your old story, and you can bring it back. And so, of course, when there's more of you that's available for receiving, then you receive more. So this is essentially, it's quite a simple process. Um, of course, you need to do the work, you need to do the visualizing, you need to do the clearing. And, and this is, you know, we've got bucket loads of stuff in our, that we're carrying around with us. But so the more that you uh, keep pushing at your edges, and it will be a lifelong process, the more you'll make yourself available for receiving. And then obviously, uh, when you're focusing on what, what you want and you're, you know, bringing that into your energy field and you're, that's what your focus is going, that's what you'll create. So it's like, it's a two pronged attack, really. It's like focusing on what you want doing the energy work, feeling it in your heart, having that sense of possibility um, and doing all the clearing work, changing your beliefs. And you don't have to go into the pain of it. You, you don't have to drop and relive the story, and um, which is often what counselling will take you through. Um, and that's why it can go on forever because you just get back into that that loop, don't you? So it's all about bringing consciousness into the, the parts of you that are your shadows. Because when you bring light into the shadows, the shadows tran transform. So that. That's kind of what I wanted to share with you today. If you want to explore this with me, I've got a couple of workshops coming up, um, Activate Abundance. So it will be, I think that's the fourth fourth workshop um, I've done. And it's so much fun. It's a really powerful day. So I'll be teaching you lots of different energy tools um, and, and different processes that sort of help you harness 
your inherent creative power and that the love and the guidance of your infinite self that part of you that is infinitely connected to all that is that is um pure abundance pure love pure creative power and pure knowing so is that part of you that where past present and future all exist in this moment so you can always uh, find your answers for yourself so we'll be doing um some of that will be collect, connecting to um, your vision by connecting through to your heart and your infinite self, that part of you that knows what, what's the right vision for you and also kind of what the next right steps are in, in uh, achieving that or acquiring that. Um, and w when I've asked past attendees what they most took away from it, it's things like having much greater clarity, insight, inspiration, um a much greater expanded sense of possibility you know i always used to have this sense that well yeah i'm sure everyone else can do it but it, i can't it's not for me or it, it's not possible that i can for some reason so it's it's like it really pushes your um your limits out of what's possible for you it will help you feel much more confident that sense of self-trust as you develop um you'll because you'll feel a real strong connection with your with your soul self with your inner guidance um and it's very uh it's very good for sort of expanding your sense of um getting in touch with your courage and, and that sense of empowerment and and the power within you so if you would hi Fidama, if you would like to uh, find out more about this i'll put the link in the um description box so um if you'd like to come and do some of this with me and learn some really powerful tools for uh transcending the stuck places in you and opening up to more abundance then i'd love to see you so that's it from me for now for today and uh, i will see you next time bye